It's on. Then a given box of extended series. We should be getting two numbered and or rare ratioed cards. Six young guns slash first round rookies. So there's a major drawback with this proc. Four canvas cards, four seven weight retros, including a retro young guns. Two 607 black diamonds, a base French, a PETG card, which could be clear diamond smooth grooves, and a few retro inserts and a Dazzler's blue. But before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Mirage Trading. Looking for sealed box yourself? Check out MirageTrading.com. Mirage Trading is now doing group breaks at whatnot, featuring a 16 box master case team random for 2122 ultimate going down this Saturday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. All and whatnot, there's a $10 credit if you sign up. Mirage Trading has a coupon code Ziri that'll save you $10 on your spot. Be sure to check out that break. That's Saturday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. Also, be sure to check out the Mirage Trading app, a very useful and handy way to shop, featuring a collections tab, which features procs on sale, pre orders, and in stock hockey box, and all the cards you can imagine. So be sure to check out the app. So thank you, Mirage Trading, for sponsoring today's video. All links will be in the description, and let's get into today's break. So, decided to get another box of extended here. I'm actually looking for stuff to open while we wait for Bedard stuff. I'm much more appealed to the 22, 23 stuff than 21, 22. And it helps that this box costs $90 Canadian. I've seen these for 75 bucks US. I got this one for $90 Canadian. Some places have this on sale. I was wondering, is it worth it on sale? Granted, this is a filler set and does have some cool inserts. There's only two really noteworthy young goods in here, Marchenko and Berrigan. So, I know there's Ratu, Parson, Holmberg. There's some other half decent ones in here. And we're probably gonna get some first round rookies, which kind of blow. But those are the only two ones of consequence. Also, looking for the acetates. I'll throw up a sale of one of the large larger ones there if they've sold. Those used to be an SBA. Those are for series one, two, and extended. I believe extended is in here as well from 2122. So that's one of the biggest draws for this. Also, I missed this mascot, Canvas Young Guns. I already forget Buddy's name. It's one of the Habs like secondary mascots there. Looking to get Buddy's card there and potentially an Avalanche there with a cut. Maybe a McKinnon. That's one in 1,000 packs there. So yeah, let's check out extended. I mean, I've done well with this. I've pulled a high gloss Young Guns from this. So let's get right into it. 2223 extended. All right, extended looking for Berrigan and Marchenko. Pre-orders for 2324 series two are out. Start at 160 box. I foresee them going up and up and up. So, looks like they start off this box with Black Diamond Kubalik. Uh, we got some base here. I'll go through them fairly quickly. Makar, Triple Diamond, Black Diamond there, okay. More base there. But yeah, I'm tempted to open some flagship in the way I open MVP. Just open a mass amount of it in bulk. Not sure if it's going to be extended. Might be extended. Uh, but we got your check. Rookie Gems, Single Diamond, Black Diamond there, okay. Not sure why they're in here, but yeah. I should put them in Black Diamond or <laughs> something there. Uh, do we have a Young Guns yet? Uh, nope. We got 708 Retro. Patrice Bergeron, okay. Next. Next up here, do we have Young Guns or first round rookies? Oh, whoa, okay. Swagnificent. This is an unannounced card. Questionable name, I have to say. What the heck is a Swagnificent? But there's Alex DeBrink in his one year with Ottawa. So there we go, there's a photo variation that says Swagnificent there. Looks like they're fairly tough. There's not a whole lot of them on eBay there. So there's DeBrink it. That's not too bad of a pull there. And we got Nick Chichek behind him. So fairly common Young Guns there based behind him. So there you go, Nick Chichek, our first Young Guns case. Let's continue on here, but there we go. That's unannounced card. Oh, we got Michelli history class there. That's not numbered. It looks like it's numbered, but it's not. There's Michelli. Okay, definitely looking forward to the 23-24 NHL season. Spot of excitement. But uh, we got one of them here. Matty Beneers is a rookie. One of these SBX retro cards there. Not number anything, but it's Matty Beneers. So there's that. Base. Love to get acetate young guns in here. Or even just a clear cut young guns in here. We got Samuel Erson. Young guns. That's an interesting young guns to get there. So there's Erson. A lot of question marks with Philly and their goaltending at this point. Including Hart and Cal Peterson. And you got Buddy that's under contract, but is playing in the KHL. And not coming over, which is questionable. But there's Erson. He looked half decent for them. So I'll take that. Base. Okay. Next up here. I'll start. So, oh, another seven of eight, Ilya Sorokin. Okay. Uh, okay, we got two youngs at this point. Oh, we got one of these here. One of these triple cards there. So there's Kale McCart. It'll say 22, 23 star defense there. Okay, well, there you go. There's McCart, middle one, base. Uh, then we got, oh, we got one of these. These are really cool. Smooth Grooves, I believe they're called. Yeah, Smooth Grooves Sid. Oh, the Kent Johnson number one look really nice. But there you go, Smooth Grooves of Sid. PETG cards. Not really acetate. They're not really see through, but definitely the same texture there. There you go, Sid. Smooth Grooves. These are cool. That's definitely a strong point with extended is the random inserts and unannounced stuff. Lot of interesting stuff in here. So uh, what do we got here? Oh, oh Sam Poulin. First round draft picks for Poulin there. So these are largely meh. Got more base there, including McDavid. Okay, next up. Oh, we got a canvas here finally. Ilya Samsonov. Beauty canvas and a Justin Bieber jersey there. 2223 picture, obviously, because he was only on the Leafs in 2223. Not prior, so there's that. Next up, uh, another canvas here. Brandon Montour. Beauty canvas here, just a regular canvas there. He had a career this past year, but there's Montour. Okay. Next pack. Oh, we got another Young Guns. Uh, I can't tell who that is. It is. Oh, Nick D. Simone. Young Guns. There's D. Simone. Another not so great one there, but he's a depth defenseman for sure there. But there you go. Nick D. Simone, Young Guns. Okay. I don't know. I might try like series. 
Series 1. Series 1 is probably the best. Uh, what is this? Oh, we got 708 Young Guns here. It looks like it's Boldy, Rossi. Could be one of them guys. Uh, yeah, Matt Boldy. 708 Retro Young Guns. So yeah, I like these. I'm a big fan because I like the 708 Young Guns there. Nostalgic for me there, but there you go, Matt Boldy. Retro Young Guns, okay. Retro Young Guns don't go for a whole lot there. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, Nick Suzuki. So I guess Bedard will be 0809, which I'm a big fan of as well, but Suzuki 708, okay. Still hoping to get Baron or Marchenko in here. Oh, we got our Dazzler. Ronnie Outer. Dazzler's blue, okay. Still hoping for a clear cut. Still need a French. Uh, still need plenty of things in here. We got another Young Guns. It is. Oh, French Variation Young Guns. Frederick Olofsson, who if I remember right, is now on Colorado. He's in the Colorado organization now, but there's a French Variation Young Guns of him. So there you go. There is Olsen, the French first. Next pack up here. Ex Extended. Oh, Parker Watherspoon. So, getting a lot of depth defensemen here, Young Guns. So, there's Parker Watherspoon. If I'm going to open a lot of 22, 23 flagship, it's probably going to be Series 1. It's probably the best. I mean, the depth in Series 2 is bad. Obviously, the depth is not existing here in Extended. So, there's Parker Watherspoon, K. The inserts really carry it for Extended here. Uh, hopefully, we get something interesting. Here. Like that, right there. <laughs> Mary Lemieux, black and white canvas. I'm pretty sure that's like one in a thousand plus packs. So. That's a nice pull there. And that's actually unreal. That's a 2005 picture. Look. There's Sid. That's so cool. I like that. Well, base there is Lemieux played briefly in 05 or 06 before retiring. So passing the torch to Sid. So that's really cool there. That's probably a really good pull. There, Lemieux, all time great there. That is sick. Very cool. So yeah, like I said, random stuff that's in here carries this proc. We got something else interesting here. It is. Oh, nice. The specialist. Don't think I've pulled this one before, but Jason Robertson. We got Phil behind there as well. Dang. But there you go. Robertson, the specialist. Not number eight thing. We'll check the odds on that. You know what? There's too much crap on there. I'll throw it up after the fact. I'll just put it down there. The specialist. There you go. Jason Robertson. Cool. So yeah, even though we're getting violent manure for young guns, that's been a pretty darn good box. We've had a couple of nice pulls there. A couple of unannounced cards. So, well, the black and whites are announced now officially, but there's Oscar Lawson. First round rookie there. Lawson K. Base. He's another half decent one in here. So there is that. We got a canvas in here. Don't expect much for the canvas. Hey, Ryan Strom. I'll take it. UD canvas. Him on the ducks. I'm gonna say mighty ducks because the jersey there, but just the ducks. K. And a file pack for extended. I really like that Lemieux there. So, uh, oh, we got a red card there, which means canvas young guns it could be retired legends young guns but let's uh, take out the back cards here could be good could be a mascot could be an all-star weekend card it is tucker right uh, yeah tyler tucker there you go canvas young guns so there you go there's tyler tucker who in terms of like unspectacular defenseman he's one of the better ones in here he looked pretty decent for the blues this past year there you go tyler tucker canvas young guns that was a pretty good break that guy's hobby box extended i mean in terms of young guns the first round rookies not great we got two first round rookies there pulen and lawson got like seven if you count the french and the canvas there for young guns but a lot of not so great ones there nick de simone got the boldy retro which isn't too bad parker watherspoon the olufsen french variation chi check arison which i do like there and a the tucker canvas but the miscellaneous poles definitely carried the break there we got two more common nice ones there veneers sbx there and the smooth grooves of sid and we got this photo variation swagnificent of alex the breaking his one year with ottawa there but this there you go i didn't even realize i had sid on there that makes that car so much better but there you go lemieux black and white canvas so wow really enjoyed that so there's extended so yeah guys what do you want to see me open while we wait for Bedard here. I'm tempted to get a case or just buy a bunch of packs or something. Just rip through a bunch like I did with MVP, but let me know what you want me to do. So there is that. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.